Okay, so your first card is truth. So there's some truth coming to light here. You've been waiting for that. You can see you've been suffering in silence and it looks like you've been waiting for this truth to come out and to be revealed to you uh, in order for you to move forward, in order for you for the you know, doorways to open for you, for your path to open for you. You are waiting for this. In the meantime, you know, you've been going through quite a difficult period, suffering in silence. You know, it's been a hard slog to get to the top of whatever you're doing or to overcome things. And you are waiting for this truth to come to light. And you've got the heart chakra activated over here. So whatever the truth is, is going to bring in a lot of change as well. Um, you know, it's going to bring in a lot of relief for you, um, whatever you're waiting for. Um, and it's going to bring in some happiness and calmness for you. Uh, because this is the card of healing, the heart chakra. So whatever this truth is that is coming to light, that has caused you to have a lot of suffering, uh, it's going to bring in a lot of healing. So in the past, you've got the Prosperity Begins card. So, you know, you have been putting out, uh, down, um, you know, roots, uh, been trying to ground yourself. You've been trying to lay foundations. This is the Ace of Pentacles. So Prosperity is beginning. So although it's starting off very slowly, things are starting to move in a more positive direction. And you've been very patient and you've been planning things. So you've got this Patience and Planning card of here, um, you know, which is like Seven of Pentacles. So, you know, you investing your efforts and energy into the, whatever this is to make this prosperity starts so whatever maybe you started a new job or you started a new business but something where you've been investing your time and effort and energy and you're very very focused on that particular task right now now you will get material harvest so you got uh, whatever you are paying uh, you know putting your efforts or attention into is going to bring some success for you this is the Nine of Pentacles. It's going to bring in that uh, financial independence that you have been waiting for. And it's going to allow you maybe even to buy a new house or to lay down strong foundations and achieve whatever you want. So success will be coming in, um, something to celebrate, something that gives you that stability that you need. So those are the energies for that um, week. Things are moving in a positive direction. Um, so I'm going to use the Tarot of Ascension for the main read. Oops. I have shuffled this deck. Oh, let's see. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Five of Wands. So you have been dealing with really difficult people and a difficult situation. There might have been a lot of drama, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguments, and you are walking away from it. It seems like you've decided what battle you're going to choose and what you're going to, um, um, you know, face who you're going to face and who you're going to walk away from. You can see this person's pathway is completely open over here and they are making that decision and moving on. So it seems like you're not engaging yourself in, in any kind of fighting or arguments or, you know, you feel that it's not worth your while. So whatever you're not um, uh, willing to deal with, whatever drama you're not willing to deal with, you're getting on with things. You're leaving things behind. And maybe, you, maybe you're dealing with people that are not very supportive, that are actually, um, you know, almost against you. Maybe a lot of people have a lot of opinions about what you, they think you should be doing, and you've decided to turn your back on that. So you're taking your independence very, very seriously and moving on. <coughs> You've got the four of wands over here and the two of wands. So it looks like there might be a new relationship coming in that might end up in marriage. Because the four of wands is the card of marriage and the two of wands is meeting somebody whom you can work with. Somebody who shares your vision and uh, you know who you can be um, equal partners with. So it looks like there's some kind of relationship coming in that might be something long term. You've got this person hugging the other person and it might be you know, you're getting into that um relationship that is going to be very stable for you and you're going to be able to work with this person and make future plans with this person you can you can see this man's move looking forward uh, to the future and even though there are clouds in the future you know together they are going to be able to sort out this they're writing on stone so whatever you're doing you're setting on down these firm foundations and with the four of ones it's also about setting down firm foundations and being very emotionally attached to this person so whoever you're dealing with 
you feel that you know you connect with them and you can work well with them and you want to uh, you know continue the future with them so it looks like there might be a new relationship that comes in that is quite a stable relationship you've got the ten of wands over here so you have been dealing with a lot of responsibilities burdens problems issues uh you know um you've been trying to get over things um and you know although the, it, it seems like you know the card seems right like, uh, you know, there's been so much of responsibilities you haven't been able to deal with, um, you know, yourself. You haven't been able to um, have the energy to cope with things. And this might have been something that has been drawing a lot of energy. You might be dealing with people who are energy vampires who, who pull things, energy from you and give you all these responsibilities and you have to deal with it. Now, you know, you're finding an opening it seems like you're finding an opening in this wall, this barrier uh, that's preventing you from moving forward. But you need to get rid of all these burdens. You, you know, you've, you've decided this is what's been going on in the last year. You've decided to let go of things and move forward. So the uh, Ten of Wands is the end of that old cycle uh, of carrying so much of responsibilities and burdens. And then um, in the last few months, you've got the Eight of Wands. So there might have been some news coming in for you. Um, and maybe, you know, whatever you've been doing, you're now presenting it to people, regardless of what they're thinking. Um, you know, this could also be, you know, you've got information over here. This man's going through information. So you are reviewing a lot of your information, a lot of the past that you've been dealing with in order for you to move forward. You can see the veil or the curtain is open over here. So your pathway is open be it your spiritual pathway, and you're taking command, you're taking charge. You can see a lot of people starting to listen to you now. Uh, maybe in the past they ignored you uh, or treated you as though, you know, whatever you said was insignificant. But you can see this man is very much the focus. And you have people that are supporting you. So there is support coming for you, and you are taking the lead uh, in what you're doing. Now, this could also be, you know, that you're deciding to do, you've decided to do some kind of further study in order for you to get that information, in order for you to move forward. Uh, you know, this could also be that you may have been publicly speaking as well with this Eight of Wands. But suddenly things are now moving forward. And, you know, where there were barriers and blockages, it looks like that's starting to open up for you. Now, what's on your mind? You've got the Empress card over here. So this is about focusing on achievement. And this is about, you know, defending what you want. You can see she's got this shield over here, but she's also got a rod in her hand over here. And this is talking about taking in that personal power. In order, you know, um, in order for you to move forward, you are thinking about how you can make plans for the future. And this is how you're, you know, you're, you're sitting down. You're, things are not moving right now. You're sitting down and you're contemplating and you're also making plans, long-term plans for the future over here. But you're definitely shielding yourself against anybody who's giving you grief. And you are moving forward uh, with your thoughts and ideas and you want to manifest this abundance as well. Now, um, going to the future, you've got the Five of Pentacles. And this is, you know, things that are no longer serving you, seeing the bigger picture, letting go behind the lack and moving forward. Um, so with this Five of Pentacles, even though, um, you know, maybe these people that you were with were not really supportive of you, you're leaving them behind. You see um, a vision of the future. You're actually seeing the vision for the future and you are moving forward. You are now um, have that pathway in your mind you have an idea about where you're going and this is about finding direction so you're coming out of a situation of you know lack loss uh you know where you're feeling um as though you're unsupported maybe you were thrown out of the crowd of people that you belonged to your your group and you've needed to actually start making plans. So where things were not serving you, you're now starting to make plans for the future and moving forward. And you have that vision in mind right now. So you've got the hangman over here. So things are at a bit of a standstill here. You can see here, even with this empress, she's sitting and waiting. And maybe you are waiting for that change to come in. With this hangman card, it's about, um, you know, not being that proactive but things starting to change for you. And having made that sacrifice, things will fall into your hand, fall into your lap. Uh, maybe things feel like they're upside down right now. You know, things are not going the way you want them to. But it looks like just waiting for it, uh, making that sacrifice of your time or your effort or giving up something is going to produce the results that you want. You've got the Seven of Swords. The people that you're dealing with are very deceptive or lies, liars. Or, you know, maybe people are stealing things from you. Um, and... Um, this is a card about even leaving things behind. Whatever that situation is very temporary with the Seven of Swords, it's not a long-term situation. So if you're dealing with people who are deceptive, make sure you're keeping things to yourself. Keep your ideas and your visions to yourself. 
make your plans, but you don't have to divulge it to people around you. Because with this Five of Pentacles sitting next to the Seven of um, Swords over here, those people that you were dealing with that caused all this loss, financial loss or even material loss, were very deceptive. There was a lot of lies, a lot of deceit uh, that was, um, you know, and it's still going on because the Seven of Swords is sitting in your the people around you. So people around you not being supportive and you having to leave behind that situation and leave behind those people. You know what you want to do and you need to make um, an effort to actually go for it. Now you've got the Ace of Swords, so you are taking that control back. Some truth is what you're waiting for. So something uh, that you're waiting to come to light. So some kind of information that you're waiting for, for and you want victory in this situation. And that's in your hope, hopes and fears. So going into the future, you've got the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Magician card. The Six of Pentacles is about receiving. It's a card of generosity. It's about, um, you know, um, you getting... Uh, that support uh, in a material form. So it could be financial support. It could be even in a form of a relationship, but somebody being very, very generous for you, uh, to you and giving you what you need um, and, you know, giving it to you in abundance. You can see the heart chakra being activated over here. So whatever you're going to be getting is going to make you pretty happy and it's going to be something that you have been waiting for for a long time. It gives you that financial independence. You've got the Ten of Pentacles. So you're closing your back on things that are not serving you. You can see, uh, you know, maybe this is an end of a, um, you know, this could be an end of a family situation. The gates are opening. You are moving on. And you're moving on by yourself. But you're also moving on independently as well. This could also be that, you know, a financial um, settlement comes in. So if you went through some kind of divorce situation, there could be a financial settlement that comes in. It seems like there's an ending of an old family situation over here and you walking away by yourself, uh, leaving things behind and moving away from what you thought was stable, no longer serving you, no longer, uh, you know, bringing you happiness and uh, no longer bringing you comfort. Maybe there were, were people in um, in your uh, arena that, um, you know, you thought you could rely on. And now that they have disproved that, you know, they, they have shown that they are liars and they are cheats and, dece and deceivers, you've decided to move on by yourself. So this is leaving behind something stable, leaving behind those foundations, uh, which might be family connected and moving away um, on your own path. And then you've got the magician over here. So you are beginning to manifest. You are beginning to move forward. Um, you are, will be, you know, your pathway is opening up. You'll be quite busy, actually, with the magician card. It's ruled by Mercury. A lot of communication coming in over here, uh, but also the ability to start afresh. And it looks like that's what you're going to be doing. You're starting something brand new. It looks like you have all the tools and everything that you need to begin this new journey, a new phase, a new cycle in your life. Uh, you know, it's also a, um, a card that says you can manifest money and you can manifest even new relationships. Uh, you can do anything right now, but you need to be positive. Let go of anything negative. Let go of that past. This is the end of that cycle with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, you know, you will receive that support that you need with the Six of Pentacles. But with the Magician card, you'll be able to change things. This is definitely giving you the power to change things for the positive. So it looks like you have decided and you have made up your mind that you you know you see the the your future you know what your future is now and with this magician card you'll be able to start manifesting something new so you are moving away from the old or you want to move away from the old and it looks like that will come in for you okay so i'm going to draw in some cards from the angel tarot and that is for the uh, oracle read and you've got uh, the Queen of Fire, which says, stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself and assert your independence and creativity. So you are getting there. You're getting that power back in your hands and you're taking control of that situation. You've got the Two of Earth over here, which says, too much going on at once. The need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. So with the Two of Earth, it's trying to choose what you want to do. So this could, if this is from a financial point of view, you're trying to maybe choose a different job or try to even balance your finances and choose what you want to do with your time, your effort, your energy. With the magician card, you know, also in the spread, it's talking about being able to take control. The two of earth says juggling or having too much going on. And with the magician card, it's being very, very busy doing things. So you're going to be doing a lot of things right now. Um, you know, you're starting off something new and you will start moving forward. You've got the Eight of Earth over here, which is skilled work, is report, uh, rewarded, learning all there is to know about the topic and going back to school. So you might be actually even thinking of taking on some further study, some further, um, you know, um, 
some kind of uh, information, learning some kind of information in order for you to improve your skills or to improve your lot in life. Um, you're going to be spending a lot of time by yourself, it seems, focusing on that, but learning a lot and maybe doing a lot of research as well. Well, the Eight of Earth, it's about learning things on a job. It's about, you know, the Eight of Pentacles, learning while you're working and, you know, also becoming an expert at what you do. So whatever new phase that you're going through, whatever new path that you're going through is going to bring in the money. And, uh, you know, with the Pentacles, it's always about learning and study. The Five of Pentacles is choosing a direction in life, maybe choosing a new career path, maybe something new, and also learning as well. And with this Eight of Earth over here, the Eight of Pentacles, it's about learning and learning new skills, but also spending a lot of time by yourself and now focusing on yourself. Even with the Magician, it's about learning how to focus your power and your mental uh, proudness on what you need to achieve. So you're no more thinking about anybody else. You can see with the two of Pent Ten of Pentacles, that cycle where you used to be relying on other people for their support is now come to an end, and you are now going to be uh, moving on your own pathway. So I hope that this, even this card here, this five of uh, rods, you can see this person moving alone on their pathway, but they are moving into the future. So they, you are letting go th of things and you are moving on into the future. You're, uh, you know, abandoning things that are not serving you anymore. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.